Thank you everyone, especially those who have been watching my tutorial videos. I thank God for the person that provided the necessary material for me to continue this. For long I have stopped making videos, but thank God I have something with me now to make this video. So today what we have now is introduction to staff notation. So how do you play while seeing a software notation or staff notation? But basically, we will do the fingering, how to master your fingers in a keyboard with staff notation because some of the fingering practices or the techniques to practice how to finger, do fingering in keyboard, basically they are written in staff notation like this book called small wood you can get yellowed copy or yellowed style of it but i printed this from the internet small wood piano tutor so if you open it you see a lot of staff notations hope you are seeing it how do you read them how do you know them that's what we have to do today so if you can achieve that better so first of all you need to know what these signs are before you start playing with it so the introduction is what i'm about to do now so please if you have not been subscribing to my youtube channel or commenting or liking or sharing please do to promote the channel it's not good that i'm still having small subscribers please promote this channel if you like what we are doing here so sight reading how do you see this and start playing it that is the major thing you have because all these things you are seeing here they are something you are going to play in your keyboard using your left and right hand so this is the treble curve this is the bass curve so how do you learn them this is the introduction we are about to do today so as we go on keep on subscribing keep on liking you can download your own. This is soft copy from the internet. William Small Piano Piano Forte Tutor. So if you learn it, it will to help you a uh, lot. So remember, we explained that staff notation is deals with the representation of sounds, the representation of notes, musical sound or musical notes with a sign or symbol. Remember, if you watch our previous video, you get all of this. So, how do you see these signs and know them? That is what we do. First of all, remember I said staff notation. That is what we have to do. So first thing we should know is that we have what we call lines the space in this and if you learn it you know it you have first one second one third one fourth one and fifth one so if you see them how do you know them so remember we have the letters of in music A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And when we stop at G, we start another. You can watch my previous videos in ABC of software notation. You see when I explain all this. So we start another A. But if we start from C, we are going to end as C, making it one octave. If you start at D, going to stop at D again, making it another octave, but that is not what we have to do. So we are stopping at G for now. So how do you put this here? Remember all these things, we have the remi of it, we have the scales and we have everything. So how do you study it? How do we know it? That is what we are coming here to do. First thing you should know is that in keyboard we normally C starts with C. Once you start 
at C, you still end at another C, which is A, B, C. So let us remove this one. So there are multiple notation, there are keys. So this line here, this first one is called the larger lines. We have the space, we have the lines. So these lines and the space, that is where notes are written. This is the step. You extend it by adding the larger lines, adding it more, so that you get lower octave, higher octave. But this first one, for you to get C, normal C, C4, like in your keyboard, sometimes you see something like this. For you to get it, make this line bigger so that you understand. So if this is the first line, this is the second line, this is the third line, fourth line, fifth line. One, two, three, four. But the lines are one, two, three, four, five. That is the lines. So if we have adding extra C, extra larger line, we help you to get a C lower. So if this is C, this is D, this is E, the space is F, the line is G, and this one is A, here is B. And once you stop at C again, you continue B, C, D, E, F. If you want to keep on writing, you start adding the larger lines and you keep on writing. Space, so G, A again. So that is how to do it. I don't want to start telling you that this is what we call the lines, the line or the lines. We use the formula, every good boy deserves football. If you can see it now, every, like what we have here, every good boy, good boy deserve favor. Some will use football, some will use anything they like. But I don't want to start telling you about this. Just know that the first line in the stave, the first line is E. If you want to go down E, D, C, then here will be B, another line will be what? A. Just master it. That if the first line is E, the first line is E, the next space will be F, the next one will be G, the next one will be A, the next space, the next line is B, the next space. Just be counting it as A, B, C, D, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once you stop at G, you start counting another A. And it goes to add infinitum as the thing goes. So, I want to start telling you that the, the space is face. I don't like teaching like that. I like giving you guidelines that can help you. So just know that the first line is E, starting with E. You can now move E, F, like A, B, C, D, E, F. You see it? E, F, G. Then we don't have H, you start from here again. So if the first line started here, so what it means is that going down, you will have D, you have C, you have A, you have B, as it goes down. And if you stop at A, you will have another G. And it goes up and down. So if you want to know what the note value of any, any note, once you see this line, second line here, just know that you are on the line of G. If you want to see, this is E. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And it goes like that. So you can learn it like that. But if you like this way, 
I will also give it to you. There is nothing like this, like that. The line, in, on the line, you have every good boy deserves favor of football. So in, in the space we have, in the space we have face. So face. But for me, I don't like using this at all because once I get the line, the the meaning like here is E. If I draw, if I draw one larger line, I know it's C. C D. I will be counting C D E F G A. Then you count the line and space. Count the line and space. So if you learn this now, it will be easy for you to get away with. So you know that the last line in the first five stave. What I mean by stave is this. Stave. So in the first, first the last line is F. So if you want to start with F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So if you know that the last upper one is F, what do you do? And this F is high F, like do up. This is the lower one, which is F5. This starts at 5. This is the F1. So add, and it goes like that. So anyone that is better for you, please use it. Okay, remember what that what we are dealing with is what we call we have two types of clef. Let's I forget. We have two types of clef. We have treble clef and we have bass clef. They are the two types of clefts we have, treble clef and the bass clef. We have other ones, so, but the major ones we are dealing with, the treble clef is for right hand, while the bass clef is for left hand. So if you are seeing anything here, just know that it's treble clef. So when we enter bass clef, you will see. Okay, we have the sign for bass clef, we also have the sign of treble clef, but I'm not really, this is not what I want to teach now, but still, you can still draw it if you want to draw. I hope you are getting it, and this curve started where there is G, so it is called G clef. Something like that. So F clef normally goes like this. But this is not F clef. We are not talking about F the F clef. So but this is treble clef. Why is it called treble clef or G clef? Because that is the melody part where the melody part is being written. You know, soprano and where it is being written, their notes. We have alto one, we have tenor one, we have bass one, but because in playing organ, what you normally need is soprano and bass for a beginner. You can still add other ones later, but not, that's not what we are, we are beginning. So, another thing important is that sometimes you have to, sometimes in a music sheet now, you see treble clef and you come and see bass clef again. The same five. The same five see something like this yeah. so the first one remember this one started with E and yeah. then if you add another ledger line it is C but in bass clef they are just the same thing in bass clef it is started with G that is the only thing different G after G you have A space after A you have B after B the space will be A, B, C, C you have D the space is E and this is F. So and the, the space is G A and it continues. If you want to add, you still need to add extra larger line. If this line is A, then this line will be then this line will be C. But that is not what we are talking about. 
Just knowing that basic left started, started and basic left we have to something like this. The, the that is the sign. We call it the pass left or the F left. So but if you want to draw it inside this thing now, you have to draw it in such a way that it will be in this F line, the far the F line. So it's something like if you want to draw, you get to know about it very well so that it can help you. But when you see basic left, you know that it's talking about basic left. When you see other ones. So for you to draw it, you can start with something like this. Something like this. Just to show you that this is this is what we call bass clef, the F clef. Sorry for that. So that is how it is. But what we are doing now is remember I said we have this is the treble and this is the bass. So there are the two type of so that if you see anyone you see. So but one thing is important in all of this, but we are still going to talk about them. How do you know key? Which key is being played? We are going to talk about it later. But what you know that this is the beginning. You know the sign, these two sign. If you see this, just know that it's triple curve. If you see this, just know that it's basic curve. This is right hand where you play, as in, in keyboard. Then this is the back of bars. Use this bars so that you play it along. Okay, enough of that for now. Our next topic will be note value in staff notation. Semi brave, meaning. Crochets, what are their significance? Stay tuned, don't go away.